SpaceX is truly an amazing story. They have existed for about 20 years and single-handedly pushed the space industry in ways that were unheard of even 10 years ago. A typical example of this is on October 13th. SpaceX revolutionized the industry by being the first company to successfully reuse a rocket booster. And just when we thought things couldn't get any better, the company continued to fire us up by breaking another record. In today's episode, we'll dive into this remarkable achievement and analyze the behind-the-scenes factors that contributed to this success. When SpaceX was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, as far as I know, there were only about 50 space flights conducted each year worldwide, primarily dominated by government agencies and a few established aerospace companies. However, everything has changed just two decades later. Now, the legacy companies stepped back for the wave of commercial space flight, pioneered by a young private company, SpaceX. The total number of launches conducted by the company alone exceeds that of all other nations, plus all other U.S. launch services provided. This not only helps SpaceX quickly climb to a monopoly position, but also puts the United States in the world leadership position in this industry. In last October, SpaceX continued to push the boundary, marking its 105th rocket launch of 2024 overall. A Falcon 9 launched a batch of next-gen spy satellites for the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office, NRO, from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. Bear in mind that over a week ago, or on the 15th, the company already set a record with its 100th successful flight. That means in nine days, they were able to accelerate their progress with five launches. With this 105th rocket launch, SpaceX excellently surpassed its own record of 98 launches in 2023 and is a prime example of how the company is redefining low-cost access to space, thanks in part to its reusable rockets. And those record-breaking rockets weren't the only recent major accomplishments by SpaceX. On October 14th, their heavy lift launch vehicle, the Falcon Heavy, sent the Europa Clipper Orbiter, the largest interplanetary probe ever built, on its way to Jupiter and its icy moon. It is one of NASA's most expensive scientific missions, with up to $5 billion, and SpaceX's heavy rocket excellently beat NASA's SLS rocket to win this chance to conduct this mission. On October 13th, the SpaceX Starship rocket left the whole world in awe with the unprecedented performance. Under Starship's fifth test flight, its gigantic super-heavy rocket booster, for the first time, returned to the launch site and was caught mid-air with a giant chopstick-like contraption called Mechazilla. Starship's success is a testament to human ingenuity and persistence onwards to Mars and beyond. On October 9th, a Falcon 9 proudly launched the European Space Agency's Hera spacecraft, which is on its way to check the damage done to an asteroid that was hit and smashed apart by NASA's DART mission. The mission was an attempt to deflect the asteroid in September of 2022, which incidentally also launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9. An interesting thing is that SpaceX completed all of those five milestone flights in less than a week, which both NASA and its other private competitors are not capable of doing. So what has brought SpaceX to the success it has today? First and foremost, they, from the very beginning, drew a clear path for themselves, chasing the reusable rocket idea. As the holy grail of rocketry, the reusability allows the vehicle to get access to the greatest feature, low cost per launch. The reason that space travel is so expensive is that we throw this expensive aerospace-grade rocketry away after each and every use, and so the holy grail of rocketry to make it less expensive. SpaceX believed that once they mastered this technology, they would make a breaking step in rocketry, and from there, own the future. Now the dream comes true. Honestly, the idea of reusable rockets is not new. In 1972, when Apollo 17 carried the last batch of astronauts to the lunar surface, NASA was already beginning the design and developing their next generation of crew-carrying craft. Nearly a decade later, the Space Shuttle was born. Shuttle was pretty darn reusable but failed to achieve NASA's promised cost and utility goals, as well as design, cost, management, and safety issues. SpaceX is so smart to follow the process and learn from its mistakes to perfect its projects. 
This led us to SpaceX's second secret, standing on the shoulders of a giant. A prime example is how they applied it to the development of Starship. So, how can SpaceX ensure Starship won't fail like the Space Shuttle? To answer the question, we should delve into the real reasons why NASA's project failed first. NASA's mistakes could embrace the wrong estimation, inefficient technology, and its evolving attitude towards safety. NASA estimates that over the planned 14-year lifespan of the shuttle, the entire program will require a budget of approximately $45 billion, with each flight projected to cost around $54 million. But in fact, by the time the program concluded in 2011, NASA had expended a total of $196 billion, far exceeding the initial projections. The agency later tried to cut the cost, and the cost per launch was ultimately brought down to around $450 million, albeit not to the extent initially envisioned. The out-of-control expense was largely attributed to the extensive refurbishment necessary after each flight, resulting in the actual turnaround time averaging around three months. This is far exceeding the initial expectations of two weeks. The most time-consuming aspect of the refurbishment process was the meticulous inspection of the heat shield, requiring over six months of refurbishment by a large team. As Elon commented, so was not reusable by any reasonable definition of the word. Due to the complex shape, the space shuttle requires an intricate arrangement of approximately 35,000 individual heat tiles, each requiring individual examination and assessment between flights. This painstaking procedure added significant time and effort to the post-flight operations. In contrast, most of Starship's heat shields are made uniformly, making the replacement and refurbishment much easier. Additionally, the reliability of the heat shield must be a top priority, meaning it must be able to protect the entire vehicle during descent as well as remain intact after each flight. This is currently the biggest problem for the company because, in the previous test flights, some Starbrick tiles still fell off. To handle this issue, SpaceX determined to redesign this system and tested it in Flight 5. They added the ablative layers beneath the primary tiles as an insurance policy. These secondary tiles are made from silicone and felt meaning they self-cool by slowly disintegrating to expel heat. They also created the new tiles are about twice as strong. Fortunately, the new design worked well. And of course, the flow of evolution will not stop here. Elon Musk said, this will take a few kicks at the can to solve and requires building an entirely new supply chain for low cost, high volume, and yet high reliability heat shield tiles. But it can be done. That means we'll see more heat shield testing on future Starship test flights, demonstrating SpaceX's strong commitment to safety, in stark contrast to NASA during the space shuttle era. There is a bitter pill that two fatal disasters during the space shuttle program were not primarily due to the vehicle itself, but instead viewed as victims of go fever, a sense of urgency that pushed NASA managers to neglect safety concerns. During the 1980s, to meet the ambitious launch schedule, which imposed significant pressure on NASA's upper-level management, potential safety hazards were often overlooked or downplayed. As SpaceX focuses on the Starship's development, it also tries to ramp up its progress, but avoids treading a similar path of cutting corners to meet self-imposed deadlines. They have applied the iterative approach, testing the vehicle through many test flights and learning from each test to improve the rocket. All of this was aimed at perfection prior to allowing Starship to carry cargo and humans. Finally, we cannot fail to mention Elon Musk's spirit of not being afraid of failure. Between 2006 and 2008, his first three rocket launch attempts all failed, putting SpaceX on the edge of bankruptcy. The fourth launch succeeded, but only after Musk scraped together just enough money to finance it. So many of Musk's friends advised him not to do SpaceX. Luke Nosek, who helped build PayPal, one of Musk's former ventures, said, in an article for Forbes in 2011, aerospace and defense writer Lauren Thompson voiced concerns about NASA becoming overly dependent on the still young SpaceX, and also wrote that Musk's enthusiasm is infectious and inspiring.
but SpaceX's performance to date doesn't measure up to the rhetoric. There was also doubt within NASA. Former NASA astronaut turned SpaceX engineer Garrett Reisman told CNN in 2020 that there was a perception of SpaceX along the lines of, they're cowboys, they're dangerous, they're going to kill somebody. Musk had made a name for himself by voicing lofty ambitions for the company. He espoused self-landing, reusable, cheap rockets, and a wider goal of enabling humanity to become a multi-planetary species by colonizing Mars. Now let's look at them. SpaceX is truly the pioneer in commercial spaceflight. Being a reliable partner with large national agencies like NASA and the Pentagon. Without a doubt, SpaceX's growth journey is definitely an inspiring story for any of us, anyone pursuing the dream of a better life. So how about you? Are you inspired by what SpaceX has achieved? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.